Hi, we're Darby and Ro, and Cosmo. We're currently traveling Australia in our self-converted van. We upload videos every week about our travels and the ups and downs of living in a van. This is what we got up to this week. This is the beautiful creek with these rock formations either side. These bright orange rocks just over to the left here which look incredible as well. Stopped at this town called Wilmington along the way and we're just filling up some water and having lunch here. And this town is famous for their strippers. We thought that was pretty funny. walking along the jetty at Tumby Bay and we had a very close incident where Rowan nearly got pooed on by a seagull. So we're walking right under it now. Nope, under it. Whew, I think we're safe. <laughs> Are you grateful you didn't get pooped on? I can see you. <laughs> I can see your head. Hey, Cosmo. <gasps> Come get him. <coughs> Come on. <coughs> Come on in. It's time to get up for the day. Yep, you got it. Yep. Hello, Cosmo. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, bud. Come on. Hey, Cosmo. Can I get a good morning cuddle? Pretend to put your socks on. Give oh. me socks, bud. <gasps> Is he putting his socks on, Cosmo? You want to come get them? <laughs> oh, good morning. Good morning. Hey, Cosmo, are you going to go get your nails trimmed? Have fun. He thinks he's going to the indoor dog park. <laughs> See ya. Were you the best boy at the vet? Look at these nails. Even got a goat's horn as a little treat. You look happy, bud. That makes me happy. We stayed at this nice little free spot on the water in Wyala. No facilities or anything, but pretty good view to wake up to.
We're currently on our way up to Cooper Pedy and we've just pulled over at this side of the road rest area which is also a lookout and it has these beautiful salt lakes and a really cool landscape. I've hopped back in the van because it is way too windy for me out there and I actually got a little bit of a sore throat yesterday so that might have been from the wind yesterday but yeah, not sure. Is it rude to park under a little shelter with a table and chairs at a rest area? If it has a low clearance sign? Yeah, it has a low clearance sign. <laughs> I don't know, is it rude? There's no one out Yeah, I guess we'll probably be the only ones here. <laughs> this feels weird. <laughs> I guess we got shade. A couple of days ago, I actually laughed at somebody doing this. <laughs> No, they were doing something different. Well, they were like, they only had this much space. But they were just what? pulling up really close to the tables. Yeah, to and look how tables. close we are for, uh, to the tables. Oh, this is a shelter. I don't know, is this rude? It'd probably be rude if it was a popular spot. But there's not really anybody out yeah, here. It's the middle of nowhere. Spot. We're not yeah. near the toilets. We're not blocking anything. We should be fine, right? Cosmo, are we gonna be fine here? He's happy. He likes this spot. Toilet reeks and it just blew all of the toilet paper that was already in the toilet out. Oh my god. Ugh, yuck. This is how we dry our towels in the van. At about 3 a.m. last night, Cosmo had a little moment in the van. He exploded diarrhea all over our main bed sheet. So we're just airing it out on the van today, cleaning it up. He was a very sick little boy, but he's doing okay now. It's literally because people leave all of their scraps and rubbish around you can't go anywhere with a dog without them eating everything. But you got to stop eating stuff off the ground. And people need to stop leaving their shit everywhere. After that happened, he also went and sat on my pillow. So now I don't have a pillowcase for a while. I'm not going to film for long because I've honestly never looked or sounded worse. But basically, just a recap of last night. I'm incredibly sick as you can probably tell and Cosmo explosive diarrhea all over the bed at three o'clock in the morning just the cherry on top of the cake and I have an incredibly bad gag reflex and I wanted to come forward to help Rowan I had to grab the bin I was almost vomiting it was just it was a whole thing and then once we got everything cleaned and sorted out we hopped back into bed, couldn't stop coughing, my throat literally feels like a razor. I kept Rowan up for the rest of the morning, which I feel so bad about. And yeah, so today's just been a very slow day. I've been printing off some memories, which is nice, but yeah, okay, that's enough from me. Do you want breakfast? Mm -hmm. Come on in if you want breakfast. Peeping through the little hole you made, mate. <laughs> yeah, we can see you. Peeking. Hey, Cosmo, look at me. You got such a cute nose. It's $2.35 for diesel this morning. So we're going to be very out of pocket this week. But we think the servo closest to Uluru is about $3.40 for diesel, which is absolutely ridiculous. So we're filling up now. Another unfortunate event happened last night. We ran out of gas. So I couldn't have my nice hot warm lemon water. We couldn't have our pasta for dinner. So we had cereal and I was just coughing all night long, which was atrocious. 